how did that transition happen? Like they just saw because you were crushing so many deals that they're like, okay, this is the next step after selling a vehicle is actually transitioning into the finance side. It was actually really cool. So um, I worked with a, a gentleman named Rod Ross, still to this day, one of my all time best mentors when it came to sales, anything in, in just life in general, he's an incredible guy. Uh, I worked underneath him. He taught me so much, um, made it to where I actually wanted to show up to work. So I was actually learning really cool stuff from him. And uh, his wife was a VP of a really large consumer lending company that we actually did a lot of business with too. So I had a little bit of a relationship established. And uh, because of sh how I showed up, how many hours I was putting in, how many sales I was making, he got me connected with the company that she worked for. And they were like, look, this guy can sell. He's a hard worker. Uh, you guys should snag him and, and you know, build him up into something. So, I, I mean, I, I remember it like, like it was yesterday. It was like December 12th, I think, uh, 2015, I believe, where um, they took me to a breakfast. I didn't know I was on like an undercover interview. They started talking to me. And by <laughs> the end of the breakfast, I got an offer letter in my email. And within wow. about two weeks from that point, I was able to move to D.C. and got started. So, Wow. So you cool. went from Memphis to Nashville then Nashville to DC and it was all through the car business.